we finally had a nice night's sleep on two filled air mattresses because the first night since we woke up on the ground we were like oh hey we'll totally like find the hole in the air mattress and like patch it and blah blah, blah. and then it came to the second night and I was like I don't really want to take a chance and we had gone to Walmart anyways for a lantern so we were like why not buy an air mattress that it was like $15 like whatever let's do it and so we brought it back and then we woke up with that one deflated and the other one filled and we were like what the hell and then I went to the bathroom and Trish texts me and she's like JK the, the top one we didn't plug it completely like it was slightly unscrewed so that's why it was deflated but the bottom one wasn't deflated which made no sense so we didn't want to get rid of either of them so we kept both of them for this third night and so to this morning we wake up and both of them are fully deflated fully inflated and we finally slept on like a nice bed on two beds in fact I almost fell off in the middle of the night, but it's okay. We're good now. And uh, yeah, so we finally have one working air mattress. We got rid of the bottom one because we have hypothesized that the hole was somehow on the top. And so like we were plugging it by having all of the pressure from the top one. And ourselves. And ourselves. Yeah. I don't know. But it's fine. We have a regular working air mattress now and hopefully I didn't pop it while rolling it today somehow. <laughs> Who fucking knows? But yeah, so that was an adventure in and of itself. We packed up this morning in record time. Yes, we, we got now, out in an hour. Yes, we and now believe in rolling everything, <laughs> every, except my sleeping bag. Everything needs to be rolled. That's the fastest way. We even took showers this morning and it took us just an hour to leave the campsite. So we made it to the Sayu Falls at like, what was that, 12, 12 o'clock? And we left at nine. So that was a nice three hour drive. We uh, saw the Sayu Falls for like maybe half an hour. We just walked around, we got some nice pictures. It was pretty. Climbed on some rocks. Climb, climbed on some rocks. <laughs> they were pretty rocks also. And then we uh, headed on our way. So now we are, on the way to the Badlands campsite in South Dakota. All we have seen is farms, billboards, and our radar de detector goes off randomly. We just unplugged it at this point because the freaking speed limit's 75, so like- it's 80. Oh, it's 80. Is it's it 80. 80 now? It's 80. It's oh, no, 80. it's 75. Oh. It's like 70, 75, and 80, like this entire way. And fun fact, we are still on I-90. I don't, I haven't even been keeping track today. But literally the entire way today has been on I-90, besides getting off to go see Sayu Falls and then getting on again. So we're still killing it on I-90. There's two lanes and every once in a while the road turns pink. And we don't know why, but I'll take a video of that in a little while because I'm sure it'll happen again. So all through Minnesota and South Dakota, if you're on I-90, just a fun fact, the roads are gonna be pink and they're really pretty. <laughs> Otherwise, the view has literally just looked like this the entire way. Like the entire drive. I mean, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful and it's sunny, but I'm sick of this. <laughs> like, it's literally the only thing I've seen besides some hills and the Missouri River. That was the highlight of our day today. <laughs> yep, yep, definitely. Um, so we're still going and we're gonna be there at 4.30 and then we'll set up our tent and everything. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It was an adventure. This has just been a really long driving day and my GPS lied to us about where a mobile station was. Luckily there twice. was- Twice? Twice? No, we found that second one. Uh, the day before it had lied oh, about the gas yeah, station. Yeah, it, it lied yesterday, you're right. Well, it was, it was a gas station, but it wasn't a mobile. So it was okay, like we filled up. But then we found a mobile later on and filled up the rest of the way. So yeah, tonight our plan is, since we're getting there at 4.30, is relaxingly set up our tent and camping space and then maybe find a liquor shop and have some ciders because it's been a long day and 